Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to take a have a taste of the uh, chocolate plague from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. So we were at uh, Helen, Georgia, the other day, and I went into a jerky shop, and I saw this hot sauce, and I tasted the the sam yes yeah, this uh, sampler sampler bottle, and I liked it a lot. <clears throat> Uh, I heard about this before. I think it's been out a little while, but it's it's very expensive in the store. I think it's supposed to be a limited edition batch, but it's um, a collaboration between Pucker by Pepper Company and uh, Stephen McLaurin, and it, it features uh, Stephen McLaurin's strain of the chocolate bula pepper. And the ingredients are um, very basic, just. Um, Chocolate, bula, peppers, and vinegar. So it's a real simple sauce. When I, I tried it in the store, it um, it was really hot. Just I used one of the little sampler spoons, but it had a. I remember I really liked the flavor on it. So I wanted to share this with y'all. Um, we kind of go over the read over the description. Um, Smoking it as a new pepper in his entourage, chocolate bula, brought to you by Pepper. Uh, Pucker by Pepper Company and Stephen McLaurin. This limited edition sauce requires you break out hazardous material gear while you enjoy its smoking hot, delicious flavor. Beware of chocolate plague will forever affect your very being. So anyway, it's, it's on there. Five out of five heat scale. Stupid hot. Uh, there's some story about the art, and I don't have the information handy on who did the design. Bill Moore did a, a review on it, I watched his review and um, he has some more information about it. I'll put a link to his video in the com in the uh, description. But uh, let's give it a taste. Here. I like chocolate bula peppers, but eating them by themselves really hard on my stomach. But uh, I think like in a you know, small amount of sauce, it'd be fine. I never had uh, Stephen McLaurin's version. I've tried a couple other versions of the bula, chocolate bula. I agree with the DM strain last year. I liked it. I got a bunch of it frozen. I may try to make my own version of this just to experiment. I don't know. I'm not an expert sauce maker, but it's fun to, to try things. It's really on there. there you can barely you can smell the vinegar but it's not real strong. Really the, the pepper comes through. It's not, it doesn't have a smoke pepper smell, but it's almost a smoky kind of. It's not just almost not. You can tell it's not smoked, but. On um, Bill Moore's video, I think he said that he heard or read that the, uh, that the peppers were roasted, so that would maybe affect the flavor. Or maybe. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to try to pour this on camera. I don't know how we'll focus. So just... You can't see it through the spoon. Yeah, it smells good. I mean, and this is going to really light me up because I, I tried any of these little sampler spoons. That's what I tried at the store. Here goes the uh, chocolate plague. Got some of my upper lip. It's burning. It's kind of um, 
Oh, my hiccup's going. <clears throat> Slightly tangy. Um, really tastes, <clears throat> tastes the pepper in it. It's got kind of a savory kind of flavor. It's like a savory sauce would be good probably on <clears throat> kind of meats. Uh, really, really good heat on it. I wish I had gotten on the upper lip because it's burning me. It's kind of distracting for everything. <clears throat> yeah, the flavor is excellent. Um, it's not bitter at all. The flavor, um, the pepper really comes through. The vinegar is not overpowering, but you can tell it's in there. It this, this gives a lot of that twang. Tangy twang. Um, this will be excellent on so many things. I feel like feel it all the way down to my gut, and it's really hot. Uh, <clears throat> I remember just a tiny sampler in the store kind of caught me off guard. Um, yeah, the heat's still lingering. It's starting to fade now, but it's uh, really up front, front of my mouth. I don't know where you could buy. I did do a search on Amazon, and they've they've still got it for sale. I noticed it's not um, available on Puckerbutt's website anymore. Uh, I think it is a limited run, so I don't know how easy it'd be to find this. If it's still on Amazon, when I publish this, I'll put a link to it there. But I may try to grow in this strain. I try to grow. I've run two different strains of Chocolabula the last two seasons. I may try to grow. I need to get seeds for uh, this kind. Let me try. I do have a ton of seeds I've saved from last year of my DM peppers. Uh, <clears throat> that's uh, Dave Miner strain. Yeah, this is like a really, I mean, it's, I'm not like a sauce expert by any means, but it does taste very well uh, balanced um, with the vinegar and the peppers, and it's 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 just it just tastes really good. Like it doesn't um, have any kind of bitterness or bad aftertaste or anything. Definitely use it in you know moderation because a little goes a long way. It's really hot. It's making my nose run. <clears throat> they did a really good job making this. Anyway, um, so that's the chocolate plague. Um, and I uh, hope you all like that. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.